Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Let's continue playing as the United States in our game against the Empire of Japan, who is our main enemy with a few side allies. Most, in most notably, including Peru, Venezuela, and the Dominican Republic. And, of course, all of East Asia. Oh my god. Anyways, uh, East Asia isn't really a big concern. We're not really going to try to invade there. Also, before I move on, I just want to show you how Operation Barbarossa is going for the Germans. They have not advanced very far. They've advanced some, definitely some, but they haven't advanced an extreme amount. So, usually you're told that the AI, at least the Axis AI, is extremely good, in which Japan's case, they're not part of the Axis, but they're part of the Greater Co Prosperity Sphere, but they're still a, what you, you would call a nationalist or a fascist enemy in this game. And, uh, yeah, they're not doing terribly against the Russians. I mean, they have, the Germans have a little less casualties, but the Italians, uh, they haven't suffered that many casualties from the Soviets. Soviets have mostly lost from Germany and the Kingdom of Romania, so I just wanted to let you know how this war was actually going, because if the Soviets fall, I don't know how, I, if, they, if the Soviets fall, it'll be very, very difficult for us to, to actually probably win in this campaign. Or at least take over Europe once again. So, oh, 35 decisions. Uh, Home Defense Emergency Act would be pretty good. Blow the Panama Canal, that's not really worth it. I mean, the enemy, Japan and, I guess, technically, Ecuador, do have... Oh, wait, what's this? Execute War Plan Orange for six months. Invasion preparation time and amphibious invasion speed. Uh, eh, whatever, it's not really worth it at the moment. Weapons for Haitian resistance. Huh. That's kind of cool. Haitian parliamentary speech. Uh, so how much political power? We get quite a bit of political power. Oh, I, I definitely want to go to war economy, though. I definitely want that. As well as, we're building up a bunch of refineries, which is extremely good. And air bases, which are extremely good as well. Uh, have I already maxed out radar? I believe I have. So that's pretty good as well. Now, other than that, realistically... We really need more rubber. That's the biggest thing that we need. So that's why we're building refineries. And, you know, it's just... We can only produce so many planes. Right now we're trying to produce fighters. And what's our stockpile of fighters like? We've got 22. That's not a lot. So, but we... I have to have naval bombers. I absolutely have to have them. So I'm going to lower the production of fighters. So that we at least get some more naval bombers. It won't be very much. And honestly, I'll put naval bombers on top. Because I have to have some more naval bombers. That's the, pretty much the only way, oh, at the moment, that we will have enough bombers, or enough planes, hitting the enemy ships when they're docked, when they get damaged. So we've, like last episode, we saw that, oh wow, we're almost out of steel, that when the enemies got hit, and we pretty much capitalized on that with them Facing themselves in Saipan, we bombed them with tactical bombers, naval bombers of whatever kind that we had, and it was fairly successful for uh, damaging and actually seeking a carry as well as a battleship. So that's really good. That's going to be my main strategy as we are trying to almost almost resurrect our main battle fleet in the Pacific under Ernest King, who has a total of, when fully repaired, Three carriers, five battleships, a heavy cruiser, seven light cruisers, and five destroyers. Obviously, that's not enough, enough destroyers, but that's why I switched over my destroyers to pretty much just right here. <clears throat> One destroyer group will go to the battleship uh, group, which will be made pretty quickly, two weeks. But the other one will be, the other destroyer here will be part of a new group that will help the, Atlant the Pacific Patrol Group. Just because we've lost so many destroyers. And actually, I should probably make some more. But I'm going to try my best to make sure that that the battleship patrol group will be as strong as humanly possible. Now, is this a battleship? 1940s heavy battleship. Hull. It is a battleship, but not even with the best armor. So, okay, that's interesting. Uh, actually, don't go to Washington. I need you in the battleship group. <coughs> Our main strike force. Because as we saw last time, and I know I haven't really continued the game at all yet, but I just want to talk about this. J the Japanese, <clears throat> excuse me, 
have an extremely good template. So if they have four carriers, like four battleships, a few heavy carriers, and the rest were made up of like nine like uh, light cruisers and the rest were destroyers. An extremely good template that I didn't really I really wasn't aware of. So that's how they were able to destroy all our ships. But using planes we will be able to do that. But here's my last spiel about talking. We gotta focus on goals. Our, our my main goal right now, at least with the land units, is to take out Venezuela. Now you see that uh, Ecuador, oh no, no, this is Peru, has sent a bunch of divisions to Venezuela. However, we will look at Peru, and our intelligence tells us that they have a lot of manpower. That's not very good for us, right? They have a few ships, not really concerning, especially with my Atlantic strike force, which is actually okay. <clears throat> but what you don't know is that I tabbed over to the Peruvians, and they're out of equipment. They're completely out of equipment, which is extremely good for us. Ooh, early cruiser hull, 66%, and carrier hull, 46%. Good. Keep damaging them. Damage them until they don't have any ships left. So, <clears throat> unfortunately we, unfortunately for Americans, I have a lot of manpower, and I have a pretty good amount of equipment, too. So, oh god, what just happened? So, sorry about that. We're going to grind the enemy's uh, equipment levels down as far as we possibly can. It's a really bad idea. Oh, the, the Japanese are down here? Well, regardless, I really want to do Venezuela. That's my main goal. So, uh, let's see. We lost a plane, two planes, whatever. That's okay, in my opinion. Ooh, this us look at enemy convoy. Very good. If we can sink all the Japanese convoys, that'd be very good for us. Oh, and I did forget about El Salvador, but we'll focus on them later. We definitely will. Uh, oh, we did it! We did it so early in this episode, within about s almost seven minutes, we sunk a 1936 carrier group. Or just carrier, not carrier group. Uh, there is a way for me to show you that, you know, despite me complaining about all the losses that we've suffered, we haven't done too bad, actually. So we lost 190 ships, which is pretty bad. Okay, I'm going to be honest, that's pretty bad. We lost a lot of bad ships, and some good ships, but regardless. But we sunk more than double the enemy ship, so that's not too bad in my opinion. So we sunk 387 enemy ships. Now our navy isn't super large anymore, but that just means we have more space to work with. Oh yeah, I just keep sinking those enemy ships. If I can reduce the enemy carriers to zero, that would provide us an extremely good uh, way for our carriers to actually hit enemy battleships and other ships. Uh, yeah, we definitely want this. I'm going to wait just a little bit. I'll wait for the next time to do this because we just don't have enough naval XP, which we should be probably be getting. I'm not going to let it go beyond a day, but I really want this last doctrine. It doesn't look like we're really getting any naval XP, so... Uh, carrier organization is really good. Ah, screw it. We'll do it. We need that anyway, so... Carriers... Oh, no. Those are... <clears throat> excuse me. Heavy cruisers. No, we're not really winning here. Alright, but really winning down here is a priority for us. Alright then. And you know what? Strike Force. There's not really anything in here, as far as we know. Now, there were subs over here before. And we do have a few carriers. Could you do this here? Oh, we wait, we down here. What's this? Enemies, that's our subs, and the Japanese convoys. Since we have a patrol group here already... Wait, are you docked? Are you... Uh, yeah, you can do that. Set on high repair. Are you... Hmm. Okay, whatever. Well, we got a little more att light attack and light piercing. It's 1941, everyone. A better carrier would be probably pretty good to do. These would have to be manually put on new... Things. Ooh, fire controlled methods. Battleship, light, and heavy attack. That sounds pretty good. So let's do that. Oh, do we actually? S we sunk two heavy cruisers while they were on the while they're in port. So good. All in exchange for a close air support type plane, with their carrier getting very heavily damaged down here. We lost the plane. That's okay. Uh, and we lost another plane. That's fine. So, realistically, I'm thinking, you know, as much as I complain, and you guys just kind of probably get annoyed at me complaining so much. Oh, we're probably out of, uh, ships. All of our other ships are repairing. But, 
This is how we're going to win the war in the Pacific. That is the way. It's pretty much the only way. Alright, so we got to come back down here. We didn't win that battle, that's fine. Uh, I didn't realize the Japanese were actually coming down here. That's kind of nuts to think about. Uh, could I expand this way? Four divisions. They don't have a lot of strength. A medium caliber semi armor piercing shell. Awesome. What about air doctrine? We're researching air doctrines. Military access, military access. Sure, and a non aggression pact with the Raj. Sounds good to me. Uh, we definitely trying to get more rubber. Since we don't really extract rubber, maybe except for four, and that wouldn't really help us with extraction. Uh, 1941. Marines would be good. Support companies. I will need more logistic companies just because the supply situation down in Venezuela is not very good at the moment. Maintenance companies will be extremely important, but let's get some more artillery since everyone can use that. And let's get to war economy. Thank you. Very cool. Now we're producing a ton of stuff. Holy cow. Um, yeah. If I could get more naval dockyards, which I can, I totally will. 80 and then over here. Just because I want to make sure that... Oh, we sunk, the, we sunk the carrier. Great. Great job, guys. We sunk the enemy carrier and just... That's really awesome. That's just really, really awesome. As we're sinking more convoys and more convoys. Wow, we actually lost a lot of guys. Holy cow. Probably mostly just because of Peru and Venezuela, obviously. Japan's lost way more than us, though. That's really good. That's very, very good. Alright, then. How is our fleet doing? I know I haven't, we haven't really progressed that far ahead in time. But... Uh, ooh, Detroit is on fire. That's not good. Heavy fires, that's really not good. Let's see, Wake Island, California. They're repairing California, which is a good idea. Guam, it's not a good idea to really repair in Guam. Repair low. Is there anyone else on the west coast? Washington, those guys. Oh, Hawaii. No, no, make that make it that a high priority. Definitely make that a high priority. Uh, I wish you could do the repair queue as in, like, like the theater mode. Like, over here, we have Atlantic, we have Pacific. Like, I could tell, like, oh, for the Pacific, you have the West Coast, and you have all the islands. While with the Atlantic, you have all the, you know, Atlantic Coast or East Coast, as well as the Caribbean Islands. I think that could be a new feature that they could add in the future. would be kind of nice. And we lost a destroyer, whatever. You know, I lose a bunch of destroyers anyways. Repairing, 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 which will take forever, ever, ever. And we lost a plane, but that's okay. As we continue... To, oh, Hong Kong fell. That's not good. But as we continue to destroy enemy ships, that just makes it easier easier for us. Nice. 177 ships. That's pretty good compared to where they started with with over... Uh, they had over 350 some three About 350 planes, I believe. So that's not too bad for us. Really not too bad. Ah, I don't want to stop paying attention to this part of the, the war. I really want to focus down here. So they came back over here. I will really need my tanks to do some good work here, but they need more tanks. Uh, we're trying to attack down here. That's not really working very well for us. I want to attack, strike over here. Oh. Yeah, they just have so many divisions. It's not even funny. Yeah, I need more tanks. Do we got enough? Uh, we won't. We will have eventually have enough steel for that. Produce more tanks. 60. Let's go with 60. And infrastructure. I'm, I might as well build up more infrastructure somewhere. And Honduras was destroyed. Okay, then. Well, we got enough space for you. Honduras, you can come live it up here with us. Okay. Uh, we lost plane against some of those boys. But they lost another cruiser. Or convoy, I mean. And hopefully we can sink more than enough convoys than they can produce, which doesn't seem like... Doesn't seem like it, but whatever. Whatever. Three, four, five. Try to strike here once again, if you can. Does anyone have... Do you you already are a logistics wizard, which is kind of surprising since we're not doing super well. Douglas MacArthur, you're not. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're really winning there. I mean, fighting in these mountains sucks so much. I hate South America so much. It's so hard to fight down here. Oh, well, we've done oh, more convoys, another convoy, we lost a plane, whatever, we lost another destroyer, lost a plane. Uh, uh, no, I don't want any more convoys to get destroyed. 
Hmm. If I could use my tanks in a different way, how would I use them? How would I use my tanks? I could strike over here. Honduran later exile, that's fine. Th these guys are in mountains, though. It's so hard to strike into mountains, as I pretty much already demonstrated. Using infantry again? I don't really want to use infantry to do this, though. It's a really bad idea. Uh, but we have enough supplies, I believe. That, that should be okay. <clears throat> yeah, they're not going to win this. If I send in my tanks, they're still not going to win it, so... Just don't even worry about using tanks. A destroyer, that's nice. Good, good, good. We lost uh, quite a few planes, actually. That's not good. And we lost a sub. And we sunk an enemy destroyer. Awesome. Convoy, convoy. Good, good, good. Oh, do we have air... Oh, we have planes around here as well. Now I need more planes. <laughs> God dang it. It's really not looking good for us. This is a bunch of crap. How can South America join basically Japan? That makes zero sense. Oh, nice rubber reserves. Uh, Hungary claims over overlordship over Slovakia. All right. Secure China. Wartime industry. Manhattan Project. I mean, if I have to, I will use nuclear powers to do that. Uh, that's okay. I really need... I need more planes, of course. I need more... Ooh, fighter production. And heavy fighter production. That's pretty good. Maritime Commission. Fund the Navy. Nah. Subfleets. Add technology cru cruisers, submarine hulls, escort effort, more production. Bonuses for research. Uh, I really need more planes. Close air support and tactical bombers or strategic bombers. Close air support. Strategic bombing goes up quite a bit. Air doctrine, research speed, Army, U.S. Army Air Force. Defense of the Pacific. Well, we need planes. And the best way to get planes is by having more rubber. Department of Defense. Planning speed. Um, I need to produce planes. I need to produce ships faster. So light holes could be produced faster. We don't get any bonus. Ooh, submarine detection goes up by 10, plus 10% and minus 10% sub visibility. Uh, light holes. I want things that just give me a flat out bonus. Battleship models, war plans. We could produce some more tactical bombers and close air support, which could help, which actually could really help quite a bit. But do we have any naval bombers? Liberty ships, trade convoys, eh. Convoy, S defense, radar, Guam, Rock Island. Uh, these aren't what I want. <laughs> these just aren't what I want. Well, screw it. We're just going to get some use US ace projects, more military factories and infrastructure. Uh, I just want flat bonuses. That's what I want. Like plus 10% to visibility or whatever. That stuff sounds pretty good to me. Two divisions here. Get a couple enemy planes. As, did we finish? We finished one of those things. Uh, German Reich rejects that. That's good. Yeah, we only need a lot of refineries around here. Um, I don't want to do it on the coast, so do it in Kentucky. Nothing says refineries like Kentucky, right? Come on, guys. Come on, Venezuela. Attack me. Come on. Flexible Navy. They're, they're out of manpower again. That's really good for us. Hmm. I don't want to attack these seven divisions. I just don't... I can't really move down here. That's a problem. Oh. Three divisions. Now you guys should definitely be able to take these guys out. Oh, four divisions now. Give them a little bit of an extra boost. Now they're attacking... Oh, they're attacking us. Interesting. So we attack so that our attack won't be as successful. Which means I'm going to counterattack immediately and maybe push you into the next tile. You know what? I'll do the same thing here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Peru... Peru, Peru is definitely going to die. Because they have no equipment. They literally... They have a lot of manpower... They got a lot of people, kind of like China, but they don't have enough equipment. And we lost three planes in exchange for two more. Two! Counted two more! Enemy ships, great. We lost a plane, lost a plane. Ah, nice. And we lost three more planes. 
But we've been doing some... It feels like we've been doing some pretty good damage to enemy ships. At least Japanese ships. Now, they are at war with the Allies, which I am not a part of. But they haven't been doing very much down here, which is good. They've been doing a lot of action in the Raj. Which, of course, is fine with me. And, of course, we'll just go straight for the next land doctrine. Japan. How many convoys? Oh, we've been sinking a few convoys. and getting a few ships. That's good. Good stuff. Good job, guys. And, of course, always more and more red stuff here. Uh, you know, I'm going to put more ground crews here, just so that we can constantly do a, maybe, maybe a little bit more damage. Right, I'm going to ignore that for a little bit now, because I really want to see how successful we can be by slowly expanding into Peru, which even though I really want to take out Venezuela, go figure. Um, oh, good. They're not suffering a tr from attrition, which isn't good, but we've got enough soldiers that I feel confident about doing some damage. Alright, so we've got a lot of this. Just I need, I need this. I need rubber. Rubber, rubber, rubberize me, baby. And planes. And factories. Don't ever forget those factories. You know what? Uh, you know what, man? I'm going to do that. I'll put some more dockyards here. So we can really produce a ton of ton more ships. Even though we're, we can produce a ton of ships. They just don't produce very quickly. Which I think... Oh my gosh, what happened here? That in a future update, they will try to maybe re go ahead and balance some of this latest patch i'm pretty sure that they will try to maybe tweak a few more things around because you know every time paradox has a patch they always see that oh we made a mistake on something so we're going to fix something here you know something isn't always balanced in this game that they'll try to fix up especially after a recent dlc dropped so all right very good we didn't really win but Oh, did we win? Oh, we're just paused. God dang it. I'm like, why, do we, why, why are we going? It's because we're paused. Yeah, that LP button there. Oh, we... Uh, we're missing anti-tank and close air support. Yeah, I'm not even producing uh, close air support. Uh, you know, I was on the Reddit earlier. I'm always on Reddit. I'm on Reddit much more than Twitter. And if you want me to tweet, tweet out, because I usually don't even use my Twitter. I just use it to observe stuff. If you want me to tweet out some stuff, let me know. Um... But, I mean, I was looking at other people's posts. Oh, nice. We we sunk a early light cruiser as well as three more destroyers. God, this is so good without even using our own navy. We sunk another destroyer. We sunk or shot down an enemy plane and sunk an enemy convoy in exchange for two more planes. That's, that's not bad. And actually, oh, we do have a little, tiny, tiny bit more rubber. Good, good, good. But uh, still, yeah, I was on the Reddit and they said that... The United States, especially Democratic United States, since you can't really declare war on anyone as much as you want, it's very hard. Very, actually, fairly difficult nowadays. So that's uh, something to be keep, keep in mind, that it's actually not pl easy playing as the United States anymore. At least for now, because we don't really understand the naval meta. Especially with Japan being pretty good with their ships. Pretty darn good. Two sunk. One more convoy sunk. We lost a plane in exchange for two enemy destroyers. God, this is going, in my opinion, quite a bit better than last game. Oh, yeah, they're they're losing ships. I really want to find... Ooh, Honduras has arrived. Cool. Uh, oh, that's actually pretty nice. They're regular divisions. They have almost no strength. They're 23 combat with Honduras. No wonder you lost. You got 1% fighting strength. Well, I'll put you on the coast. You can, you can have a good time on the beaches. On my beaches. Well, my beaches somewhere. I don't know. Go ahead and go over there. We've... Rescue the capital of Ecuador, which is great. You guys will come down to Gial Goyaquil. We can take all their enemy ports, which we probably won't be able to do. Oh, wait. We could starve out the Japanese soldiers here. And Chile, I forgot, was in our alliance. So they haven't been invaded yet, so that's pretty good. <clears throat> all right, so yeah. Peru is definitely suffering from trying to be the juggernaut of South America with no equipment. Which is fine with me. Four. Yeah, you guys aren't very strong, but send some extra guys over here, and you you should be able to do fairly well. Awesome. They, we sunk another three enemy destroyers while losing one of our own, and we lost a few more planes. Yeah, I definitely have to produce, and a sub, produce more planes, but of course we need more rubber. If we can't get enough rubber, that's really not good. Hmm. Yeah. We're reducing four naval bombers a week, which isn't good, but, you know... It's, it's what we got. 
and we need to make sure our refineries are actually more efficient so that's why I'm doing more rubber per refinery now that's not good and now we've like got very few ships actually trying to do convoy raiding so we got how many do we got here we got one over here one over here West Emperor chain oh it looks like they've got quite a few ships over here that's not good. 30 ships. They at least have carrier. three carriers, a battleship, two heavy carriers, six light cruisers, and 18 destroyers, which is honestly a little bit weaker than what we uh, started with uh, like a few months ago. It is 1942, so happy 1942, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Hope you're enjoying your life, because right now a lot of people in this world are not. <laughs> Just going to lay that out there. So the faster we can get to... Oh, six more days until we get we can get quite a bit more rubber. Hopefully, it'll, it'll be quite a bit. Uh, they're attacking, which is fine with me. You can attack as much as you like. Yeah, oh, you're attacking Colombia, eh? That's a, that's a bold decision, Cotton. Bold decision. Oh, the Netherlands requests U.S. protection of West Indies. The Dutch government has requested our protection of the West Indies. They fear attacks from third parties. Now that they are going through a period of military weakness, which the Netherlands are not, um, you know, superpower... And they suggest that it may not be in our best interest to have conflicts within our sphere of interest. So we get more war support, which doesn't matter. We guarantee the Netherlands. And sure. Uh, that's fine with me. I don't mind guaranteeing them since they are pretty much gone from that. And how's Germany doing? They're not doing great. They're struggling in the Baltics. They're struggling pretty much across the entire front. But that's okay with me. I gotta stop pressing the, stop, the space bar. Good. This is looking pretty good for us. Uh... Uh, yeah, me striking into here probably wouldn't be a great idea. Are you guys going south? You know, you can't kill these guys. But you will be able to. Very soon. Very, very soon. Ah, oh, yes, more rubber. It is... Oh, wait. We have a bonus? Oh, give me more rubber. Oh, wow, that didn't really help very much. We protect the West Indies. Awesome. Yeah, it didn't give us that much more rubber. But that's okay. We lost a destroyer. All right. All right. All right. Okay, I hear you. Yeah, we're losing a lot of destroyers. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go to here. How is the main battle task force repairing in California? Which two more of these groups are getting refitted, and everyone's generally repairing, which is good. Because and by the time we bring this, these bad boys back out, we'll be fairly decent in terms of strength. Not great, but fairly decent. And actually. Uh, let's see this rubber. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're at one a day now. We've oh, we've gone up to six a week for naval bombers, which is good. Now we need more steel. God dang it! I keep looking back over here. I hate ha fighting two front wars. I absolutely hate it. I would be a terrible German commander. I'd be like, no, I want to only focus on the Western Front. No, I would only want to focus on the Eastern Front. Yeah, Russians. Oh, Senator speaks out against government policy. Well, how does Congress look right now? Oh wait. Steel? Oh, yeah, I need more steel. Let's do this. Expand steel Minnesota. They probably won't bomb Minnesota anytime soon. Uh, yeah, I can use maybe a little bit more uh, house support. Oh, it's lightning. It's very a lot of lightning outside. Well, you can't tell, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Four divisions. We might be able to do well here. Maybe we can do well here. So we are... Because the enemy has decided to... Is that Spain? Spain! Bastards. Uh, has decided to expand out as much as possible they are really hurting their chances at winning this war could I, could could i cut this group off we could cut ties off between peru and venezuela all right lost the plane nothing happened nothing happened awesome oh that division is not looking so good other than that oh we sunk an enemy battleship awesome job guys awesome awesome job Oh, so we're winning on a lot of fronts, which is great. Uh, we're not winning down here anymore, which isn't good. Go ahead and keep organizing yourselves, because I will throw you in the mix very, very soon. In about three seconds. Three, two, one. They're adding more divisions, so will I. Wait, Iceland joined the Axis? Wait, what? UK. UK. Why? Why? The Singapore strategy. You got eight divisions guarding, oh my god, the entire UK. That's terrifying. You got a pretty good number of ships and a pretty good number of convoys, but... 
guys, come on. Come on now. They're like Germany before this patch, or I guess just Germany. Germany always would declare a uh, war on every single enemy nation around them. But why would you go to war with Iceland? Yeah, I know you want it as a strategic place, but they're not joining the Axis unless you provoke them. Now I sunk two enemy convoys, an enemy convoy, an enemy convoy, and another enemy convoy while losing an, an extra plane. So yeah, we need more. We need a lot more stuff. But regardless, it's not bad. Uh, that, do they have enemy planes up here? No, they don't. Which is fine with me. Nothing. Convoy, as well as a convoy. So we are slowly winning in South South America, which is honestly pretty good. Pretty good for me. Pretty good for us. All of us. Together. Very good. Alright. Let's see. They don't have a lot of divisions down here. We are gaining organization from our strikes down in South America here. Hmm. Alright. Uh, wait, this is only six divisions. And we might be able to win. As we take a look. We lost a few more plans, which I can't really reproduce. Oh, we sunk an enemy destroyer. Another enemy destroyer while losing another plane. And we sunk... Oh, we lost an, an, a destroyer. Because they have planes down here now. And another sub. Huh. How many ships you got now, Japan? 160. Not bad. Really not bad. Bracket shooting, so we got even more damage. We can produce another dockyard. And... Sub mine laying. I don't really use mines. Uh, 1942. I need to focus a little bit more on my weaponry. And what are we going to produce? What are we going to produce? 1942. We're making two carriers already, so we're pretty good on that. Let's see. We're making a battleship, which could be upgraded. Um, we need more screens. I really would like more screens. So something that could be that could be produced fairly quickly. Can I upgrade you guys? No, I didn't do that yet. Darn it. Oh, oh, that's better. Yeah. Regardless, uh, how about this? You guys look pretty decked out already. That's fine. Destroyer holes. I want more of these. And like the other group. We're going to produce you... Oh, God. Oh, God, where are they going? Oh, no, they're going to get sunk. We're going to produce you in California under the CV group here. So the battleship group. Because we lost so many ships before. We'll make sure that we'll make our battleship group great again. So that'll be really good. Uh, we got a few extra subs down here. Seven, that's not a bunch, but, you know, we got a few extra. We've got two... Uh, reserve destroyers over here for our fleet over the strike force here, which doesn't look too bad. Three, see, three carriers, three light cruisers, and seventeen destroyers. That's a pretty good amount. <clears throat> sure, we'll do that. And oh, holy! <gasps> oh my God! Holy crap! We sunk the Nagato, the pride of the fleet of the Japanese Navy, as well as the destroyer. But we sunk the pride of the fleet at just a battleship. Wow. Wow. Holy crap, that's awesome. That should actually hurt their war support since we did that now. That's so good. That's so amazingly good. You know, on that note, we're going to end it here just because it was that good. So, what have we done? We've expanded our influence in Colombia by not giving too much ground and taking some ground back from Ecuador. Uh, so, South America is looking pretty darn good at this point, I would say. We will have Peru quashed before long. And before I before we leave, I will show you casualties. We've been sinking a lot of enemy ships in the Pacific. We've definitely reduced the Japanese naval capacity for warfare by quite a bit, in my opinion. We've lost 206 ships, but we've, we're approaching 500 enemy ships sunk. That's extremely good, in my opinion. But with that in mind, here are the casualties. We've lost 168,000, mostly to... Peru, some to Japan, some to Venezuela. Obviously, we've had a couple allies capitulate, but our casualties are a lot better than the enemies, and we've killed almost three quarters of a million of the Japanese forces alone. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching today. I hope it was a little bit more positive than yesterday's. I will see you tomorrow. Like the video if you like the video. Oh, God, Japan's invading. That's not good. But subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow, like I said, as we continue dominating South America and destroying the Japanese fleet in the Pacific. Thanks for watching.